A greetings Libra and welcome. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying Libra season. Uh, and happy birthday to any of my uh, Libras that have a birthday in this month of September. And uh, this is what I have from the oracles so that you need to know right now uh, for my uh, beautiful Libras. And what is coming in is the sense of 21 ecstasy. Wow. Uh, that's a amazing energy around you, ecstasy. That's passion. That's desire. That's just a feeling amazing. Um, and it's coming with the number 21, which could be, you could be seeing repetitions of 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2. Uh, but that is uh, uh, confirming this ecstasy is on the way. And it's, uh, ecstasy is this buoyant a state of joy. And so take courage and live your passion in ecstasy. That is what the message is centering on. And um, this ecstasy is also connected to your creativity. You could be an artist and in this ecstatic uh, phase of creation right now. And uh, look at this energy of creation, creativity. And you're going to take it out into the world, something very uh, passionate, uh, you're ecstatic about. And your creativity, um, Libra, is like a story. Uh, it needs a voice, a way to be heard in the world. So define your own creativity and live that creativity in the world with ecstasy. And uh, what is it that you need to know, uh, Libra, right now about uh, this ecstasy uh, and when it comes to your creativity? That's pretty uh, powerful. And uh, this is what... Uh, you need to know today, uh, Libra, what's coming is a sense of um, the Page of Cups. Well, this is uh, the imagination, this young energy that goes after the imagination with intuition, uh, this desire to be artistic. So that is powerful energy around you. And it's coming in with uh, a lot of balance and reciprocity, equal give and take, recognition. You could be getting a gift because of this uh, intuition and this ecstatic imagination you have. And what's coming is the Seven of Cups. Well, at the foundation, there is a choice uh, that needs to be made. And you could be kind of in a, a daydreaming, fantasizing, artistic, getting information about what you love and what is going to bring you a sense of balance in your creativity. because. Uh, there has been the Ten of Swords in the recent past, a lot of uh, um, anxiety, depression, worry, hitting rock bottom, going over and over maybe in your mind, uh, but be feeling caught um, away from this ecstasy. Uh, and now you're coming into the ecstasy because um, when, you, um, when you have that sense of um, living in your mind, in your emotions, occasions of, of the spirit might be cut off. But you're going to be um, now taking the courage uh, to um, move out of this um, defeat, this despair, and know a new day is coming because you've hit rock bottom maybe with this choice you have to make. And it's coming with uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Well, there is a lot of abundance at the crown. You might want to watch Leo because this card um, came up in the same position. So there's this new opportunity at your crown to make money, uh, to have a gift, to be expansive, uh, prosperous with what you're doing artistically. And let go of any defeat or despair from your past because you have a new love. A uh, new love offer. You have a new offer that could be an offer of money, of wealth, but it's going to be something you love and are very ecstatic about. And it's with coming with the King of Pentacles. Well, that is who is offering this. This could be Earth uh, energy with a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy that is going to be connecting to a lot of this watery energy around you, this uh, ecstatic um, feeling. And it's coming because the devil um, is uh, at the way you are looking at the page of cups, something uh, where you feel uh, maybe entrapped or seductive around this creativity because ecstasy can also be uh, just overdoing this pleasure. Um, there could be something you're um, be feeling entrapped in a relationship uh, that 
uh, you have to make a choice about this now and you're going to uh, be successful someone in your environment this victory is coming as the influence of your environment and it's going to bring you a lot of wealth but there is something about the material uh, seduction uh, that you have to look into that has to do with your ecstasy around what it is you're creating and your imagination and uh, it's coming because the hope and fear is the nine of wands that you'll move uh, from this success uh, from your environment someone is very successful and that could be making you feel ecstatic and but you've got to be resilient keep on going you're almost there stand your ground against this devil energy if there's a low vibrating energy such as greed um, or some kind of shame or guilt where you're moving away from that successfully and the advice for you uh, Libra is the hangman well the advice is to uh, you might have to be hung up for a little bit longer suspended keep on going be resilient uh, work on your imagination at this time and your creativity um, because creativity uh, is within the crystal palace of your mind and that creativity is you're learning a new way to think about it with the hangman seeing something from a new perspective and letting go surrendering sacrificing one thing for something better and it's going to be ecstatic joy coming when you let go and uh, be you're going to be illuminated enlightened and uh, that's what i'm have for you uh, today Libra and I hope this resonates and if it does please leave a thumbs up and a comment and uh, thank you so much for all your support and I love doing these readings for you and see you next time have a great day bye bye